The following is a public access program and does not necessarily... Welcome back to the channel and another upload in the 5 Reasons Why series. In this upload, we're going to be discussing the 5 reasons why or benefits to upgrading the camshafts in the Coyote and Road Runner platforms for road racing applications. Understanding how camshafts work and play an integral part in the internal combustion engine requires a lot of study and research. In fact, Many professional engine builders and engineers spend their entire lives researching and understanding the role camshafts and other components play in the internal combustion engine. In future uploads, we're going to dissect the camshaft and exactly what it is and how it plays a role in the internal combustion engine. However, in this upload, we're going to address some very basic, basic reasons why a camshaft upgrade can benefit you for road racing applications. A very quick definition of a camshaft is defined as such. A shaft with cams placed on them to control the intake and exhaust valves in an engine. The cams placed on the shaft are essentially a type of lobe which controls the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves. So, what would be the benefit of increasing timing, duration, position, and lift of the camshafts in your Coyote or Roadrunner platform? Reason number one. Increase peak volumetric efficiency. Upgrading the camshafts in the Coyote and Roadrunner platforms brings a whole new level of potential for the engine. The job of an internal combustion engine is to convert energy. It's also known as a sophisticated air pump. When you upgrade camshafts and increase the volumetric efficiency, you're allowing this internal combustion engine to bring in the max amount of air and allow it to have potential to bring the max amount of fuel in to increase the power and widen the power band. Upgrading the camshafts in terms of timing, duration, and lift will essentially give the engine more time to bring in more air and fuel and to create a bigger combustion within the chamber. This not only increases the potential to raise your peak power delivery, but also increases your potential for more horsepower, higher RPMs, and an overall wider power band range where the power comes into play. Reason number two. Power band extension. When you change the position and timing of the cams and increase the duration and lift, you enable the Coyote and Roadrunner platform to yield more power in a wider power band range. You also provide the potential for the engine to raise its overall RPM limit or red line limit, just as a very basic example. If an engine is known for making its peak power between, let's just say, 5,000 RPMs and 7,500 RPMs, upgrading the cams in that engine and shifting the horsepower to a higher RPM may allow the engine to extend its power band from 7,500 RPMs, maybe up to 8,000 RPMs. Now granted, it may take away power from the bottom end, but as you shift power, you're enabling your engine to breathe better at higher RPMs increasing high RPM horsepower. Reason number three, high RPM horsepower extension. This reason is a direct result of reason number two, power band extension. When you extend your power band, you also increase your potential for more horsepower at a higher RPM. Changing camshafts can have the potential of narrowing or widening your power band. In this situation, we're assuming the camshaft upgrades will widen your power band. With that being stated, you are essentially optimizing high engine RPM efficiency. This enables the engine to move air and fuel more efficiently at higher RPMs, resulting in a greater potential for more horsepower at higher RPMs. Reason number four, TIVCT optimization or twin independent variable camshaft timing optimization. For road racing applications, I happen to prefer leaving TI-VCT active. Certain camshaft upgrades would require the cams to be locked out 
or for TI VCT to be inactive. For road racing applications, I believe TI VCT actually improves drivability with upgraded camshafts. Unlike drag racing, where you are wide open throttle the entire time, road racing involves being on throttle, off throttle, on throttle, off throttle. Twin independent variable camshaft timing actually improves efficiency and maximizes air and fuel throughout the entire RPM range. TIVCT definitely optimizes the engine post cam upgrade and keeps excellent drivability for road racing applications. I believe that Coyote and Roadrunner's strongest attribute when considering road racing is the fact that it does have twin independent variable cam timing and can optimize the engine and upgraded cams throughout the entire RPM range. Reason number five. What is the best aspect of upgrading cams in your Coyote or Roadrunner platform? The sound. Let's review the five reasons why camshafts should be upgraded for road racing applications. Number one, increase volumetric efficiency. When the overall volume of air and fuel can be increased and optimized to its maximum potential, you provide the internal combustion engine more potential to make more horsepower, extend its RPM range, and extend horsepower all throughout that RPM range. Number two, power band extension. Upgraded camshafts can provide the engine more potential and an opportunity to provide power over a wider range of RPMs. The engine can yield a wider range of mid and top end horsepower. This leads to reason number three, high RPM horsepower extension. More horsepower can be provided at a higher RPM as the engine is able to maximize air and fuel more efficiently. Reason number four, TI VCT optimization or twin independent variable camshaft timing optimization. My recommendation for road racing is not locking out your cams. Allow TI VCT to improve drivability and maximize air and fuel for a road racing application. TI VCT would optimize the camshaft upgrades throughout the entire RPM range. In road racing, the engine sees every little bit of the RPM range the engine can provide. Reason number five, and really everyone's favorite, is the sound. With the more aggressive cam profile, higher lift, and the utilization of changing TIVCT to make the cams overlap, you can really get an awesome chop-chop sound for your Roadrunner and Coyote platforms. As I stated earlier, camshafts are an integral part of the internal combustion engine and really are just one piece of the puzzle. Every component in an internal combustion engine is reliant on the other. Stay tuned to the Tracking Ponies YouTube channel. I will be uploading a video to the reference series soon, dissecting the science behind camshafts and really taking a deep dive into how camshafts play an important role with every other component in the internal combustion engine. Thank you for watching this video on some of the very basic and general benefits upgraded camshafts can provide the Coyote and Roadrunner platform in terms of road racing applications. Thank you for joining us on this journey as we take our race cars to racetracks and share our experiences with you. Like the subscribe button and notify me when you subscribe to the notification bell. And does not necessarily... This cable station for its the staff and men. Does not.